everybody i'm back with another video today and it's your girl niamani all up in this thing um yes y'all see these baby hairs because i need to be stopped no but um if you see the title above you already know what this video is about and it is my coming out story um if you're looking for a very grand coming out story with tears shed and all of that this is not necessarily that type of story this is the coming out story for the person who just wants to know my current coming my coming out i don't know that's really all i can say somebody asked for it and also it's like some q a like why i'm single blah blah blah. my love life is standing third so let's just dive in so um this is so cliche but everybody's like oh i knew i was gay when i was a child i knew but i like didn't do anything to act on it um because most people would condemn being gay like around me oh that's gay that's gay that's gay that's gay so you know i wouldn't like i wasn't really worried about anybody really like oh i like boys like oh they're cute but it was like i was like a kind of like a nerd in um elementary school so i wasn't really worried about it so i did that nothing i was like i thought girls were cute but that was really it so i, I thought that was normal um middle school um boy crazy um i had a boyfriend we dated for like a year i don't know we were dating i guess I had some boyfriends, not that many boyfriends, but I had some boyfriends, but I still was like attracted to girls. Like if I would ever hear like somebody talk about, oh, they were gay, I would be like, you know, I would be there, oh, really? You're gay? Can you tell me about, <laughs> can you tell me about you being gay? Like I was that kind, kind of girl, but not like, I wasn't like trying to be nosy about it, but I was just like, ooh, I'm interested. So, um, after, um, like eighth grade, like eighth grade, I knew like, okay, I was like going through the motions, like, am I gay? Am I straight? Or my bi because I knew I was attracted to women. I knew I was attracted to girls. Like I would see gay girls, um, like typically like studs or stems, and I'd be like, yeah, that's what I see myself with. So I would be like, oh, okay, you know, am I gay or am I straight? I don't, I didn't know. So like eighth, ninth grade, I declared myself bisexual because you know, like everybody, I think everybody goes through that. I'm bisexual because we're like trying to find ourselves. So I was like, okay, I'm bi. So um, that happened. Um, eighth and ninth grade. Um, ninth grade I still kind of talked to guys but it wasn't like really it wasn't really doing it for me like they were nice looking young men they were you know they believed in chivalry their parents you know they had some good parents that raised them but it just wasn't rocking little knees boat like that's all so um I want to say like my the spring break of my 10th grade year um that's where I met my ex-girlfriend like we hit it off like damn I think we hit it off you know but um anyways like we hit it off so i was just like yeah this is this is what i feel comfortable with i like this you know this is cool with me so um i never like really had this conversation with anybody in my family like oh i think i'm attracted to females like i would ask my parents like oh what would you do if you find out i was gay <laughs> and then they'd just be like i don't know i would love you anyways you know the whole cliche and so like i didn't really grow up in a religious household so we weren't really like bible 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 don't be gay you know it wasn't like that but when i did come out to them it was a little a little interesting so um what happened so i met my um my ex-girlfriend we met like we went to the same school but like we kind of like we didn't really speak to each other like we didn't we our fr my friends were her friends but we just never ran in the same circle so um so basically like you know we kind of met like in the, um we went to for spring break we met during spring break and like you know we started texting and talking and this then the third and i guess like going towards like the summer yeah like the end of the school year um we started talking a little bit more or like not on a friend level so we were like you know we were talking and like she came over to my house one day and we were just hanging out we was in my living room we was watching netflix I, I made chicken wings i think and we was just chilling and then you know like after my mom like i mean after she left my mom was just like you like her don't you and you know in that moment because i was going to tell my mom eventually like i didn't want to hide anything from them but in that moment i was just like i can't even lie like you didn't even give me a chance to lie so you know i was like yes and that's where things kind of got complicated um we were dating we we were we dated for two years but during those two years it was just like i don't know like it was just like tension from both sides of the families my it's like my dad is kind of like my daughter is not gay <laughs> my mom she's accepting of it now but in the beginning she was like why why do you have to be gay um stuff like that and i was just like you know i'm pretty sure i wouldn't choose to be gay <laughs> if you know i know i'm gonna be a condemned because it's like i'm a triple minority i'm gay i'm black and i'm a girl it's just too much going on so i don't think that's a choice that i would make like you know that's not something i would choose to do you know it's 
this is just who I am like and the thing is about that I'm just like you know at the end of the day I'm your child so I'm still your child like I'm still regular old Nia like nothing has changed but nothing really changed because it's just my preference like that's what I prefer and you know that was kind of like rocky for me because I'm just like you know why can't you like why do you have to question me like why does that have to be a problem you know and I didn't really appreciate that so I was just like a little that kind of hurt me a little bit but you know you I was you know taught to be strong willed and um you know I didn't really sweat that like I'm a type of girl that doesn't really care about what other people have to think like I don't care about if you don't like my outfit if you don't like my hair if you don't like the way my eyeliner looks if you don't like what I have going on with my life you know that's cool because you can do what you're doing over there and just not worry about Nia so um but you know when it comes to your mom you want your mother to accept you and just you know be there for you emotionally so um and what um so she like she got over you know that like I had to like let her know like you know I'm still your child like I'm just because I'm gay like I said before in one of my previous videos like this is me and this is my orientation like this it's not the other way around me being gay does not take over my whole you know personality that doesn't shape everything like some people usually think like oh if you're gay do you try to hit on your friends I don't want them I don't want my friends they're good looking I don't want them I'm not that type of girl I don't usually even talk to like I don't even try to talk to straight girls or like bi girls because that's just not for me so that's that but um coming out to my family was interesting I don't think my grandma knows um some of my family knows I'm not really like stressing the importance of other people knowing that I'm gay uh it's okay if you know like it doesn't really bother me but just know that I don't know it just I'm gay like it just really it's whatever so um friend wise I didn't I didn't lose any friends at all like they they was like okay like I'm pretty we are like the millennials we're like kind of we're more for the most part we're accepting people so it wasn't like oh my god y'all niggas gay y'all can't be me a friend no more it wasn't like that like everybody was like okay half of the people was gay them damn selves so I was just like you know we all gay Ooh, gay so um that was that so that wasn't really too much of a big deal so um that was cool for me like most of my friends was like okay my cousin my my best friend my cousin jade um she was just like i already knew it's okay i love you it doesn't really matter that doesn't affect me like she didn't you know just having a support system of people like okay you know i'm fine like you're still nia at the end of the day so i'm just like okay i'm nia and i'm gay yay so um you know that's really like that's just my coming out story like um i wasn't too emotional about it like sometimes i would feel like damn like you know why am I gay? Like, I would start to question myself because sometimes people would be like, you know, why are you gay? You're too pretty to be gay, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. Did a boy hurt your feelings? I'm like, none of that happened. And then it started making you question your life. Like, did somebody hurt me? <laughs> am, I, am I too cute to be gay? But I'm like, nah, somebody cute out there for me. They wait in my future wife looking bad. Okay? So, um, yeah, that's like really it. Like, it was nothing too extreme, too grand. I didn't like... You know I didn't bust out the closet like extravagantly it wasn't like that it was like it was simple and it was it was good for it I knew that it, that was kind of gonna be like that so it wasn't like it wasn't too serious which I appreciated so that was cool for me um if you have a coming out story let me know I want to know I'm curious but um what other questions did I have somebody asked me um why am I single okay let's elaborate on that I like I said previously like the girl that I did have was like literally my only girlfriend um yeah she was like my only girlfriend so that was of two years we broke up I want to say April I'm not really maybe before then I want to say like probably like after Valentine's Day um I don't know like why I'm single I have high standards I think of what I look for in a partner like that I'm somebody that I'm gonna put in time with as far as a relationship yeah we can talk all day long um laugh hang out but as far as a relationship i'm not looking for somebody that's gonna waste my time and i understand that in life you have to grow and you have to have you know people in your life and i'm not looking for somebody like right now to just be my long life partner but i'm just single right now because i'm in i'm in college y'all it's my first semester of college i'm just enjoying myself and i'm just having a good time and no i'm not being nasty i'm just i'm just enjoying everything like this is all new to me so i'm just enjoying myself and just you know getting the gist of things um and that's really it like you know if somebody is willing to come sweep me off my feet i am more than happy to jump on their broom with them <laughs> but no like really like i'm just i'm chilling like it's not nothing i'm stressing out too much like it's it's okay 
but nevertheless um i hope that my coming out story was you know um informative to somebody if you feel that you are homosexual gay lesbian lgbtq um and you feel that you can't tell people don't rush your coming out because like don't make somebody make you feel like you have to come out the closet do it on your own timing um just just know that you do have a support system somewhere if it's not in your home you do have a support system somewhere and don't feel alone because there's and, and don't feel alone and don't let anybody make you feel lesser than them or make you feel abnormal or weird or crazy because you just have to, you just happen to prefer the same sex don't ever let anybody make you feel like you're just loco because you're not crazy you know it's normal i think it's normal if you don't think it's normal and you disagree with me i'm why are you even watching my video wasting your time because you know what the the title says but if you feel like nobody is there to talk to you you know my email is in my description box feel free to email me because um i'll definitely talk to you because it's just like at the end of the day that's your preference that's not your whole personality so don't let someone sit there and just base your whole life off of your preference no baby that is your preference and that is all you are smart you was kind you was important okay so don't let nobody um make you feel less than that um there's multiple like you know um places that you can people that you can talk to there's pl places that you can go that's probably in your area to talk to about that because nobody ever wants to feel alone in that type of situation just but just do like just know that there are places for you to go and people for you to talk to and don't ever just don't feel like you're alone so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm trying to do like a q a type of thing so just let me know what y'all want to hear like just leave me some questions like i asked you guys last time to leave me video um questions for my q a and y'all didn't leave any so i'm gonna leave my ask um link in the description box below just just fill it up because i want to do a big old q a because i'm tired of doing these little little q a's but um i just want you guys to know that i love you guys and um we're at 11k and i'm just really excited and college is stressing me out <laughs> but that's really it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great day <sighs>